Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our Tuesday workout. Are you guys ready to start? I am. Just to let you know, we're gonna have two portions for today. Portion A is gonna be body weight movements. That's for everyone that doesn't have equipment at home or just wanna make it nice and simple. All right, and also we're gonna have option B, like you see over here on the side, and that will be a light to moderate weight workout equipment for you to do at your home. Are you guys ready? Let's go. For our warm up of program A and B, we will be doing a six minute MRAP, as many rounds as possible of 20 jumping jacks, 10 jumping lunges, 20 shoulder taps, and 5 inch arm. Are you guys ready? Let's do it! As seen here, we will be doing um, as many rounds as possible of these movements. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start up with 20 jumping jacks. Keep it going, guys. Very good job. So when we're done with 20 jumping jacks, we're gonna move to the next movement of the day, and that's gonna be our 10 jumping lunges. Let's get ready. Jumping lunges. Okay, when we're done with jumping lunges, we're gonna go in a planking position and we will be doing shoulder taps. All right, everybody can go on their own pace and do as many rounds as possible. Okay, one more movement to go after this and that will be the inchworm. When we're done with the inchworm, we're gonna go back into jumping jacks till our six minute clock is over. Inchworm means we're gonna go in the planking position and bring our body back up, all right? We're gonna fully extend, that's one repetition, and we have to do this for five reps, okay? If your face is a little bit faster, feel free to move a little bit faster. If you have to rest a little bit more, feel free to rest a little bit more, all right? Keep it going, guys. Six minutes to finish this. We have four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Let's go. Okay, so we're halfway into the warm-up. Three more minutes to go on the clock. Let's go, guys. You guys can do it. Keep it going. Keep it going. If you need to rest, drink some water, grab some air, and then jump back into it. All right?
Okay, we're almost at the finish line. One more minute to go on the clock. Now is the time to give it to you all, guys. Again, this is a warm up, so make sure to push good, feel good, and get ready to do the rest of today's program. Okay? 40 seconds left on the clock. 40 seconds. Let's go. And three, two, one, we're done, guys. Good job. Keep up the great work. If you need to take a rest, feel free to take a rest now. Pause the video. Okay, grab your bread, drink some water, and join me back when you're ready. If you're ready, let's get it ready to roll. Okay, we're gonna have two components for today. We're gonna have strength program A, and then later on, you're gonna show you strength program B. For the strength program A, is gonna be very simple. It's gonna be a 12 minute imam. That means that every minute on the minute, we will be doing certain movements. Okay, first minute on the clock, we will be doing five to eight burpees. The remaining time you have left in that minute, that will be your rest. Okay, so you decide how many reps you will be doing in your first minute of this routine. For minute number two, we will be doing five to 15 diamond push ups. This can be done on the floor, on a chair, on a sofa, or even on a wall. Diamond push up means we're gonna bring our hands as close as possible to each other, and we will be doing again five to 15 repetitions. And finally, the last one from program A, that will be minute number three, and that will be 30 to 45 second plank. Okay, very important, guys. That was one round. It's 12 minutes, so we will be doing about four rounds of this. Very important. Remember also, guys, that you don't have to do this everything unbroken. So if you want to rest a little bit, rest a little bit. If you want to bring reps down or up, feel free to do it. For strength, program number B is also 12 minute imam, every minute on the minute, but we will be changing the movements. This is for people that have slightly light to moderate equipment at home. Minute number one, we will be doing five to 10 dumbbell press. It can be from the floor, on a bench, on a chair, on a mat ball, okay? If you have a barbell, you can also do barbell press or anything that you feel uh, that you have at your home, like a plate or anything like that, okay? Minute number two, we're gonna focus again on those triceps a little bit more. And the same thing, five to 15 diamond push-ups. all right? There's also, you can do on a chair, on the floor, whatever you feel comfortable. And the last one for today is gonna to be minute number three, and that's gonna be 30 to 45 second handstand hold. All right, it's a little more difficult. Again, we're here to help everyone at home to stay healthy and fit. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask us as one of our coaches, and we will gladly help you guys out. Okay, are you guys ready to rock and roll? Well, let's start this clock. For the strength component, we have chosen program A. So we're gonna do a full body movement type of workout. All right, our main focus is gonna be mostly home workouts or any more workouts that you can do from your home. All right, so feel free to follow us and feel free to do it together with our coach Javier. Okay, remember we have the clock on the top and then we have coach performing burpees. Burpees can be done in different ways. It can be done like you've seen right now the coach is doing it, jumping with both feet up 
and back down okay good amount of reps you might need to do okay you can rest in between if you want you can jump it right away into one okay or you can just rest as needed right now coach will be resting and you have 20 more seconds to go all right let's get ready minute number two is going to start in 15 seconds All right, guys, let's go in three, two, one. Minute number two. We're gonna do five to 15 diamond push-ups. If you pick up the amount of reps you will be doing. I right, said again, the arms are gonna be closer to each other. Okay, try to maintain the body as straight as possible into a plank position. And you're gonna push your body chest down to the floor, to the sofa, to the chair, or even a wall. And bring yourself up. This is mostly a tricep type of work. So we're doing a lot of upper body and conditioning for today. We have 30 seconds more to go on the clock, so keep it going guys. Let's go. And more seconds. Let's get ready to switch. I repeat, the next one is gonna be plank, stationary plank. We're gonna start up in three, two, one. We'll be doing 30 to 45 seconds plank. All right, you can do high plank, low plank. You can make it more difficult. You can to put your um, elbows on a med ball or if you're free to put your feet on something, that's gonna make it more difficult. But the idea, guys, should be being simple and stay consistent for the whole all right, guys, we're gonna hit the 30 second mark in three, two, one. If you wanna go a little bit longer, feel free to hold it on. I repeat, 30 to 45 seconds. In three, two, one, we reach our 45 second target. All right, and repeat, you don't have to do this on rookie. You can do 50 seconds, rest 10 seconds, 50 seconds. You need. So we just completed one round. It's 12 minutes, so we have to do four rounds of this motion. Get ready to start back with burpees. Three, two, one, let's go. For the burpees, you can also do step down or step up. Meaning you're gonna put yourself in a plank position, slowly but surely. Put your body to the floor and just using your body to stand back up, right? Everybody can do this at their own level and come on the reps you need to do. I repeat, if it's rest, rest, recover, drink some water, and come on back in. Okay? If your first time doing this, I recommend trying to do as last reps as possible. Okay? And then stay consistent through the day. We have 50 more seconds, guys. We're almost there. Alright, let's get ready for our diamond push-ups in 3, 2, 1, let's go. If you find it very difficult again to do the diamond push-up, you can look for a higher spot. For example, when you have push up here, just in the chair to make it a little bit better for him to move. Okay, look for the perfect spot, and what the perfect spot is, meaning your chest has to cross above the higher level of the chair, table, or box. So that's how you would like to do it. The same thing over here in lower position. Your chest has to be above. Your hands cannot be between them or below them. All right, so always keep your chest above. 20 more seconds on the clock. Okay guys, and right now again, we're having coach going on to the plank. 
So let's do it this guys, 30 seconds, and I repeat as you've seen, you can rest in between, do 10 seconds, rest five, 10 seconds, rest five. We just have to accumulate as working about 30 to 45 seconds. If you have difficulties with this, you can also go in a full extension plank, or just rest, recover, and jump back into the burpees. Okay, this will be a strength component for training. On the burpees, we're working a lot on explosiveness, we're working a lot on the pushing mechanics, okay, chest, triceps, and everything else in between. So we're gonna start the back back. Yeah, stand up. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. seconds okay let's start back again in three two Go for a diamond push up. Okay guys, you just hit the 45 second mark. You rest up, you can rest up. Okay, let's start up one more round. Let's go, last one for today. Three, two, one, let's go. Five to eight burpees. Back into the minute number two. All right, over four rounds. 
So back to 15 diamond push up. Let's go. Let's keep it going. couple of minutes guys you can do it you can do it let's go if the diamond push-ups are too easy for you another way of stepping it up like I said adding up to make it a little more harder how we can hard make it harder we had a weight vest on we had a plate on top of your back okay try to go more negative there's always a way to spill this up or spill this down less minutes to go we're gonna start up in three two one last plank for today or handstand hold. How to scale up the handstand walk or handstand hold is basically uh, try to don't use the wall at all. Another way of doing it is just by practicing your handstand walk itself for 30 to 45 seconds. Okay. Making all the switch movements if needed so for a low elbow to a regular high plank position. The most important part of guys holding the plank is trying to maintain your body as straight as possible into the plank and fully let your hips go low. Okay, we have 20 more seconds for the whole minute to be done. In 3, 2, 1, or 45 second time is up guys. Now we're going to have a little bit more time to recover and get ready for the final part of today. Okay guys, good job. Keep it up. Okay, we have one more thing to go. Alright, so how was it? Good? Awesome. So now we're gonna get ready for the last part of today, and it's gonna be a workout of the day. Alright, the workout of the day is gonna have two portions, and each portion will be a six minute AMRAP. Remember guys, AMRAP means as many rounds or as many reps as possible. All right, so the first portion of the workout from program A that will be body weight movement, we will be doing as many dips as possible during the six minute time that we have, okay? Doing every break from the dips that we will be doing, we have to complete four to seven burpees. So this will be all penalty, all right? So try to do as many dips as possible on a chair, on a table, on a sofa, on a box, on the car, on the wall, all right? But when you rest, you will be doing uh, burpees. When you're done with the six minutes, guys, I'm gonna give you two minute rest, and now we're gonna go for the second portion of the six minute MRAP, and that's gonna be 30 mountain climbers and 10 pop squats, okay? So it'll be our program for A. Program B is gonna be also a double MRAP, six minute MRAP and six minute MRAP. Almost the same thing as the dips. Instead of dips, guys, we're gonna be doing bench press. So bench press, we can be doing it with dumbbells, barbells, anything, okay, that you have at your house. That's a little bit heavy, you can put your body or your back on a floor, on a couch, anywhere, okay? And the same rule goes by every time you rest, okay? You put your object on the floor, and you have to complete four to seven burpees, okay? How many reps can you complete of this movement? When well, we're done with the six minutes, guys, we're gonna finish it up with a two minute rest, and now we're gonna go for the second portion. Second portion of workout is gonna be a little more explosive. Again, this is gonna be people that have light to moderate equipment back home, and it's gonna be 15 box jumps over, and 10 alternating snatches. The snatches can be done with barbells, household objects or anything, or even a plate from ground to overhead. All right, guys, hope you guys are ready. Let's get it ready, rock and roll. For this video, we will be doing program A, okay? So if you guys are ready, let's get ready. If not, pause for a second, get your stuff you need to be good, and then start up right away with us. Okay, we will be starting the clock in three, two, one. Okay guys, as many dips as possible, let's go. Our recommendation guys, don't try to go into failure for the first one, try to pick up a rep scheme and try to stick the system with it. All right, if you're gonna try to go failure for the first set, that's gonna give you trouble for the rest of the workout. You're gonna have to break a lot more, okay? So we're gonna have 
go six minutes already counting down guys 30 seconds down five minutes and 30 seconds down. whenever you're done with the amount of dips you are doing again i repeat you have to complete them for a penalty for to seven burpees burps can be done jumping down jumping up it can also be done stepping up stepping down okay if you decide your fitness level just complete the amount of the repetition our suggestion for more beginners, first timers, try to at least do four reps and a little more advanced athletes, seven more reps. Okay, whenever you're done, when you're completed, check the clock. We have five minutes left, and then you continue going with the tips itself. And we will be doing this back and forward for those six minutes. Okay, keep it up, guys. Our guys are doing amazing. Keep pushing it. Okay, by any chance guys, you need to rest during this MREP. Feel free to rest up, stretch your body, specifically stretch your triceps. This workout will be a lot of triceps, a lot of upper body, so make sure you're feeling nice and right during this workout. All right, try to look for the burn, that's what we're looking for, and continue going. We're almost halfway in the workout. Let's go. Okay guys, we have one more minute to go. One more minute on the clock. Let's go, let's keep it going. One more minute and then we're gonna get a two minute rest. Okay, so now is the time to push your body. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. Good job, that's it, that's it. Very good guys.
Okay, in three, two, one. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna get our two minute rest, guys. Drink some water, stretch anything you're gonna stretch. We have the timer right here, you can see it. All right, so after this, get ready to part number two. Six minutes again of mountain climbers and pop squats. If you have any questions, guys, stop this video, check the movements out, or just forward a little bit, see how we're doing it, and then go back towards the resting minutes. All right, good job, guys. Take the rest, you need it. All right, guys, the two minutes are over. Let's get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, guys, six minutes amber up again. This time it's going to be 30 mountain climbers and 10 pop squats. All right, we will be doing this for as many rounds as we can. We're going to continue going for six minutes long, guys. So whenever you're done with 30 mountain climbers and 10 pop squats, we're going to go back in it for round number two, round number three, and so on, guys. Let's see how many rounds can you do, guys. Can you follow the coach, or can you do a lot more? Just do it, all right? Everybody can go on their own pace, own level. All right, let's go, guys. How many rounds can you complete? If you notice, guys, on the mountain climber, coach has his back nice and flat. Bring your knees towards the chest, back and forward. All right, you can move slower, you can move faster. 30 reps, that means 15 per side, okay?
Okay, so we're almost halfway in three, two. Okay, we have three minutes into the workout ready and three more minutes left. Let's see how much you can do it, how much can you push. If you're somebody with a high conditioning, guys, keep it going, keep it pushing your, to your limit. If you're somebody new to this, I would recommend resting. Okay, don't stop the video, let the time clock go. Okay, bring a little bit of water and jump back into it. Okay, you can do it on level, on pace. Let's go. Okay, I see over here on the clock, we have one more minute left. Last minute for today, you guys did amazing. We worked out for about 40 minutes approximately, so let's finish strong. Okay, if you're resting, continue going. If you're going, try to push a little bit harder. All right, guys, 40 more seconds. Keep it going, let's go. Don't stop, don't stop. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Push, push. We have 30 seconds left on the clock. Twenty more seconds. How many runs can we do? How many runs can we do, guys? Last one, last one. Ten more seconds on the clock. Push, 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 don't give up. In three, two, one, press. Woo! 